it. I think. And so I am at Yama Station, one away from Nagano. This is where I gotta take the bus to head up to the resort. Uh, pretty empty here. I think it's the end of the ski season. What is that? I think it's the end of the ski season, so it's not a lot of people here, which is awesome. Oh, there's Zawa and that's exactly where I'm going. All right. All right, let's go find the bus. Zawa on Sunrise. Just an hour and a half ride by bullet train from Tokyo Station will bring you to the beautiful mountainous northeastern region of the Nagano Prefecture. My final destination, Nozawa Onsen, is best known for its great skiing, natural hot springs, and delicious local food. But I want to focus this episode on the fresh powder. Alright, this is supposed to be my stop. Now, I just have to find the Staff Lodge. That's where I'll be staying for the next few days. Just take off your shoes. I better do that. This is the Staff Lodge. I'm in room 206, I was told. Here's the reception area. Here's the kitchen, looks like. Um, hello? Looks like there's been people here. Maybe they're all on the mountain skiing. context of this adventure. When I decided to come to Japan, I said I'd really love to ski. So I contacted the Nizawa Onsen Resort and said, hey, am I too late to ski coming at the beginning of March? And they said, oh no, we still have snow here. And I said, I want in. And they said, okay, you want to do some backcountry skiing? And I said, that's my favorite type of skiing. So they set me up here at the Staff Lodge. And over the next few days, I'm gonna hit the slopes. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more fresh powder to add to this incredible base. And that's it, let's go ski. While the lines began to form at the base of the resort, I cut through the crowds to go meet the team. A small group of off-duty ski instructors and backcountry guides welcomed me with survival gear. And we kicked things off with a hopefully not necessary avalanche search and rescue training. Once we feel like we could all trust each other, basically just testing out the new guy, me, it was time to jump on the lift and make the 1600 meter climb up to the peak of Mount Kenashi. It was here that we parted ways with the other tourists and groomed trails in search of some untouched terrain. Amazing. Nice. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Powder for days. Nobody else around. Just a couple of ski instructors, some guides, and all the fresh powder we can ask for. I hear thunder, I hear lightning, I hear wonders, and everybody wanna go. But no one really cares to know. Heading up the mountain now. Put the skins on. We're going up. Here we 
we go. So it begins. Half piece. Where the snow is. You <laughs> <laughs> ready to go? <laughs> Country boys just went that way. I gotta catch up. Let's go. That's it. Legs are burning. Feeling pretty good. That was amazing. Skiing, Japan, backcountry. Gotta try it. And as any true ski or snowboarder knows, the best way to end a long day on the mountain is with a few cold beers. It's here that I really get a chance to get to know the gang of international instructors that I've been skiing with and gain yet another perspective on life in Japan. That is it. Just coming home from the Apres Ski Place after a couple of after ski run drinks. I had an amazing time. The back country, the staff that showed me around some of these off-piste slopes. So as always, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. That's it. I'll see you guys next week. Woo! Oh shit! <laughs>